Hey, this is Brett. Hope everybody's having a great day out there today. And I am super excited to go over this ultra clean 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon. This is stop number 14880Z. I am here at Summit Automotive in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. This 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine. It is paired up with the six speed manual transmission. This Jeep has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop, has a fresh oil and filter change, all the fluids have been checked and topped off. It has very new tires on it and it is 100% ready to go. This is a clean title history, always been owned in Colorado. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, inside, underneath, start it up, take a look under the hood, show you all the options and give you the most accurate representation that I can of this Wrangler. Bright white clear coat is the color, paint coat is PW7 and I shoot all my videos in 4K. If you like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day, as well as having access to one of the largest catalogs of vehicle and Jeep Wrangler walkarounds on YouTube, if not the largest, and stay current on our ever-changing and vast Wrangler inventory so you do not miss out on gems like this one. Comes with the painted and polished aluminum 17-inch wheels, and it has BF Goodrich all-terrain TAKO2 tires, and I would say are, these are LT255 75R17s, and I'd say that they have probably 90% of the tread left, 95%, very new tires on this Jeep. Frame and underbody is in very nice condition. Uh, very little corrosion on there. Front fender is in nice condition as well. I didn't see any dents or dings on the metal part and I didn't see any major scuffs or scrapes on the plastic part there. Front bumper is in very nice condition. Looks really good. And you do get the factory fog lights on there. Of course, the seven slotted grill and the headlight lenses are nice and clear. The hood is in nice condition as well. You get the Rubicon decals on there and the passenger side front fender is in very nice shape as well. Passenger side front wheel, no major scuffs or scrapes on there. Just a little dusty, but that'd be wiped right off. And that tire is just as new as the driver's side as you go down this side of this 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon, take note of how clean the body is, how reflective and mirror like that paint is. I take these HD videos, so if you are far away or even if you're close by and you just cannot make the trip down, but you're still interested in purchasing the vehicle, you can see the Jeep, hear the Jeep, and have confidence in what you're looking at before you even get here. So when you do get here, there's absolutely no surprises and you can make a smart and informed buying decision from wherever you're at. If this video helps you make that buying decision, let your salesman know that you saw the video, that it was helpful, and that Brett sent you. Very nice down that side. It does come with the nice rock rails on there. And this back wheel is in excellent shape as well. Four wheel disc brakes, of course. And the back tires are just as new as the front tires. In fact, you can still see the little line on there from being new. So very new tires on this Jeep. Underbody is in nice shape, just a little bit of corrosion by the bolts and stuff, but for the most part, it's in really great condition. Um, like I said, it's been owned in Colorado its whole life, so uh, they don't think they use salt out there, so that's good. And the rock rails are in nice condition as well. One thing you always wanna check on these Wranglers are the door hinges. These are in pretty nice condition. I didn't see any major corrosion. Um, couple little rock chips that have been touched up. Uh, you can take these doors off with the T50 Torx bit. We, took, we did a video, or maybe it's different on the JK. Got to watch the video. Did a video on how to take those doors off. Uh, that's in the description as well as in the upper right hand part of the screen. Comes with the towing package, receiver hitch, and seven pin wiring. And this is the type of tire that would have came on this vehicle brand new. A BF Goodrich mud terrain. Uh, I, I do like the all-terrains better, but it does have the matching spare. Wheel, I should say, it has the matching spare wheel. Um, here's your case for the front hard top pieces. You get a reversible carpet and all-weather mat here. You also have storage underneath there, as well as roof and um, door bolts. 
holders right there, so that's nice. And then this hard top comes off. There's four bolts on each side and then two quick disconnects. We did a demo on how to take your JK hard top off. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen and linked in the description below. The inside of the door is in pretty nice shape. And closes nice and solidly. Coming around to the driver's side, just as clean as that passenger side, no major dents or dings in the rear quarter. Fender flare is in nice condition, and for full disclosure, this back wheel is in pretty nice condition as well. Hard top is in nice shape. I didn't see any scuffs or cracks on there. That looks good. And the rest of this side of the Jeep, doors look good. Door hinges are in pretty nice shape on this side as well. And let's take a look at the back seats. Love this interior. It's like a dark brown with the black accents, the black stitching, no rips, no tears. It does have latch child safety system for any child car seats you may have. Has the factory all leather floor mat back here with the mud design tread or the uh, tire tread mud design on there. That's pretty cool. These seats fold down for extra storage and you can see just how nice and flat they go and just how clean it is in here. Very nice and clean. You do get the child safety locks on the back doors and the inside and bottoms of the doors all look really good. There's the VIN sticker, no Canadian Jeeps here. And up front, you get that same saddle brown leather interior. You get the bucket seats in front, no rips, no tears. This vehicle smells very clean. I don't think it's ever been smoked in. You get the Rubicon stitched into the backrest and the bolster of this seat is in excellent shape. Driver's seat height adjuster. You get that mud tire tread, all weather floor mat up front. Here's your sway bar disconnect and your axle lock. This is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon tilt steering wheel and power locks. Let's hop inside, check out the miles, the radio, and everything this one has to offer on the interior. 16,363 miles on this Jeep, very low miles. Compass and outside temp display, and that instrument cluster is very nice and clean. Comes with the multi-function leather wrap, steering wheel, cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left, and you do get audio controls on the back of the steering wheel. This one has the CD player with AM, FM, and Sirius. Whoa, somebody had that cranked. Um, you get the CD player with AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. You also have the auxiliary jack there, power windows, um, climate controls down here, your heated seat button, stability control, and your hazard lights, and your power mirror control. 4x4 shifter and your 6-speed manual transmission. Passenger side floor mat and seat are in excellent condition as well. You also get a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in right there. No rips or tears on that seat. Once again, smells very clean inside this vehicle and the front hard top pieces are in very nice condition as well. You do get an auto dimming mirror and the windshield is in excellent shape. I didn't see any rock chips or anything like that on there. Let's start it up and take a look under the hood. Starts right up. No check engine lights or anything like that. I'll turn those lights on so we can check those out, make sure they're working too. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today. Hopefully from this HD video, you've been able to verify the quality, condition, options, and of course cleanliness of this Jeep all the way around inside and out. You can see those lights are working very nicely and under the hood we have the 3.6 liter pentastar v6 engine engine bay is very clean runs very smooth and once again this jeep has been fully safety and inspected by our service shop has a fresh oil and filter change all the fluids have been checked and topped off has four like new tires there is the emissions sticker and this jeep is 100 percent ready to go 
Really a sweet ride and a very nice example of a JK Rubicon that's pretty much stock. Um, only difference is those all terrains are a little bit different from the mud terrains that would have came on it. But otherwise this thing is stock and uh, very nice condition and extremely low miles as well. And to see more pictures of this 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got it. Go to that website right there summitauto.com full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle all at summitauto.com and if you'd like to check out more hd videos you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto click the bell notifications get updates on the videos i do each and every day as well as having access to one of the if not the largest catalogs of vehicle and jeep wrangler walkarounds on youtube over 550 wrangler videos over 9500 videos in total on that youtube channel so definitely go check us out in fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've ever done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We are super excited to help you with this ultra clean, super low mile 2016 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon in bright white clear coat. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and have a great day.